The Discourse on the Eighth and Ninth Translated by Marvin Meyer My father, yesterday you promised me you would take my mind to the eighth stage, and after that you would take me to the ninth. You said this is the sequence of the tradition. Yes, my child, this is the sequence, but the promise was made about the human nature. I told you this when I initiated the promise, and I said it on the condition that you would remember each of the stages. After I received the spirit through the power, I established the action for you. Clearly understanding resides in you. In me, it is as if the power were pregnant, for when I conceive from the spring that flows to me, I give birth. Father, you have spoken every word rightly to me, but I am amazed at what you say. You said the power in me. He said, I gave birth to the power as children are born. Then, Father, I have many siblings if I am to be counted among the generations. Right, my child. This good thing is counted, text missing, always. So, my child, you must know your siblings and honor them rightly and well, since they have come from the same father. I have addressed each of the generations. I have named them, since they are the offspring like these children. Then, Father, do they also have mothers? My child, they are spiritual, for they exist as forces nurturing other souls. That is why I say they are immortal. Your word is true, and from now on it cannot be refuted. Father, begin the discourse on the eighth and ninth, and count me also with my siblings. Let us pray, my child, to the Father of the All with your siblings, who are my children, that he may grant the Spirit and I may speak. How do they pray, Father, when they are united with the generations? Father, I want to obey. This is not from necessity or law. Rather, one rests in her, and she loves him. And loving makes you remember the progress you have experienced as wisdom from the books. My child, think of your early years of life. Like a little child, you have raised senseless and foolish questions. Father, I have experienced progress and foreknowledge from the books, and they are greater than what is lacking. These matters are my first concern. My child, when you understand the truth of your statement, you will find your siblings, who are my children, praying with you. Father, I understand nothing else than the beauty I have experienced in the books. This is what you call the beauty of the soul the edification you have experienced in stages. May understanding come to you, and you will become wise. Father, I have understood each of the books, and especially text missing. That is in text missing. My child, text missing, in praises from those who raise them. Father, I shall receive from you the power of the discourse you will utter. As it was spoken to the two of us, Father, let us pray. My child, it is fitting for us to pray to God with all our mind and all our heart and all our soul, and to ask him the gift of the eighth reach us, and that each receive from him what belongs to him. Your job is to understand. Mine is to be able to utter the discourse from the spring that flows through me. Let us pray, Father. I call upon you who rules over the kingdom of power, whose word is an offspring of light whose words are immortal, eternal, immutable, whose will produces life from forms everywhere, whose nature gives forms to substance, by whom souls, powers, and angels are moved, whose word reaches all who exist, whose forethought reaches everyone in that place, who produces everyone, who has divided the eternal realm among spirits, who has created everything, who, being self within self, supports everything, being perfect, the invisible God to whom one speaks in silence, whose image is moved when it is managed, and it is so managed, mighty one in power, who is exalted above majesty, who is superior to those honored.
Lord, grant us your wisdom from your power that reaches us, that we may relate to ourselves the vision of the eighth and ninth. Already we have advanced to the seventh, since we are faithful and abide in your law. We will fulfill always. We have walked in your way. We have renounced evil so the vision may come. Lord, grant us truth in the image. Grant that through spirit we may see the form of the image that lacks nothing and accept the reflection of the fullness from us through our praise. Recognize the spirit within us. From you the universe received soul. From you, one unbegotten, the begotten one came to be. The birth of the self-begotten is through you, the birth of all begotten things that exist. Accept these spiritual offerings from us, which we direct to you with all of our heart, soul, and strength. Save what is within us and grant us immortal wisdom. My child, let us embrace and love. Be happy about this. Already from this, the power that is light is coming to see us. I see. I see ineffable depths. How shall I tell you, my child? We now have begun to see the places. How shall I tell you about the all? I am mind, and I see another mind, one that moves the soul. I see the one that moves me from pure forgetfulness. You give me power. I see myself. I wish to speak. Fear seizes me. I have found the beginning of the power of all powers without beginning. I see a spring bubbling with life. I have said, my child, that I am mind. I have seen. Language cannot reveal this. For all the eighth, my child, and all the souls in it, and the angels, sing a hymn in silence. I, mind, understand. How does one sing a hymn through silence? Can no one communicate with you? I am silent, Father. I want to sing a hymn to you while I am silent. Then sing it, I am mind. I understand mine, Hermes, which cannot be explained because it stays in itself. I am happy, Father, to see you smiling. The universe is happy. No creature will lack your life, for you are the Lord of the inhabitants everywhere. Your forethought keeps watch. I call you Father, Aeon of Aeons, Spirit, Divine Being, who through Spirit sends moisture on everyone. What do you tell me, Father Hermes? My child, I say nothing about this. It is right before God for us to remain silent about what is hidden. Trace Magistus, do not let my soul be depraved of the vision. O oh, Divine Being, everything is possible for you as Master of the Universe. Sing praises again, my child, and sing while you are silent. Ask what you want in silence. When he finished praising, he called out, Father Trismegistus, what shall I say? We have received this light, and I myself see this same vision in you. I see the eighth and the souls in it, and the angel singing a hymn to the ninth and its powers. I see the one with the power of them all, creating those in the spirit. From now on, it is good for us to remain silent with head bowed. From now on, do not speak about the vision. It is fitting to sing a hymn to the Father until the day we leave the body. What do you sing, Father? I also want to sing. I am singing a hymn in myself. While you resist, sing praise. You have found what you seek. But is it right, Father, for me to sing praise when my heart is filled? What is right is for you to sing praise to God so it may be written in this imperishable book. I shall offer up the praise in my heart as I invoke the end of the universe and the beginning of the beginning, the goal of the human quest, the immortal discovery, the producer of light and truth, the sower of reason, the love of immortal life. No hidden word can speak of you, Lord. My mind wants to sing a hymn to you every day. I am the instrument of your spirit. Mind is your plectrum, and your guidance makes music with me. I see myself. I have received power from you, for your love has reached us. Right, my child. O oh, Grace, after this, I thank you by singing a hymn to you. You gave me life when you made me wise. I praise you. I invoke your hidden name in me.
You exist with spirit. I sing to you with godliness. My child, copy this book for the temple at Diopolis in hieroglyphic characters and call it the eighth reveals the ninth. I shall do it, Father, as you command. My child, copy the contents of the book on turquoise steels. My child, it is fitting to copy this book on turquoise steels and hieroglyphic characters, for mind itself has become the superior of these things. So I command that this discourse be carved in stone and that you put it in my sanctuary. Eight guards watch over it with nine of the sun. The males on the right have faces of frogs. The females on the left have faces of cats. Put a square milk stone at the base of the turquoise tablets and copy the name on the azure stone tablet in hieroglyphic characters. My child, you must do this when I am in Virgo, and the sun is at the first half of the day, and fifteen degrees have passed me by. Father, all you say I shall gladly do. Copy an oath in the book, so that those who read the book may not use the wording for evil purposes or to try to subvert fate. Rather, they should submit to the law of God, and not transgressors at all, but in purity ask God for wisdom and knowledge. And whoever is not begotten beforehand by God develops through the general and instructional discourses. Such a person will not be able to read what is written in this book, even though the person's conscience is pure within, and the person does nothing shameful and does not go along with it. Such a person progresses by stages and advances in the way of immortality, and so advances in the understanding of the eighth that reveals the ninth. I shall do it, Father. This is the oath. I adjure you who will read this holy book by heaven and earth and fire and water and seven rulers of substance and the creative spirit in them and the unbegotten God and the self-begotten and the begotten that you guard what Hermes has communicated. God will be at one with those who keep the oath and every one we have named, but the wrath of each of them will come upon those who violate the oath. This is the perfect one who is, my child.